sequence of operation for a gas furnace is on a call from the thermostat the draft inducer will start. The, there's a draft inducer pressure switch that proves to the main circuit board that the draft inducer is running. This starts a cycle called a purge cycle which gives time for the inducer to run and evacuate any spent gases or gas out of the heat exchanger before the burner comes on. Once that time cycle is out, then the hot surface igniter will energize and will begin to glow orange. You see we have two different types of igniters here for different applications. Once this igniter reaches a certain temperature, the main gas valve will open. When it does, the flame will ignite and it will travel from this hot surface igniter to the opposite side of the burners where you have a flame sensor. This flame sensor actually is just a piece of metal that the fire burns on. Uh, a signal, uh, an AC signal is sent to the flame sensor. The flame actually allows half of that AC signal to pass to ground. So this does. This is not bimetal or anything. It's just a piece of metal that's used to conduct electricity. Conducts it to ground through the flame. That's how it proves that you have ignition. The furnace will try three times, and if we don't have a, fl a flame proof in the third try, by the third try it will lock out. Issues we see with the flame, the igniters, are a crack that can happen right across the middle of them. They're very difficult to see. You'll usually see a little white powder around them. The best way to check this flame or this igniter is to take a meter and go in these ports with this connected with your meter leads. You notice there's two wires to this. There's one wire to the flame sensor. The igniter has two wires for power. You leave your meter connected for the entire time the system tries. If you see voltage for a few seconds and then it shuts off, then your igniter is bad. If you never see voltage, the problem is most likely the board. Issues we see with these flame sensors is crack in the porcelain, which allows current to leak to ground, or corrosion on the surface from the combustion. If you see that corrosion, you can clean that off with steel wool, and it should take care of your issue. If you clean it with sand cloth, it may cause you more of an issue, so always use steel wool to clean that. 